you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Kendall thank you so much for tuning in today so in today's video I'm showing you guys how I customized my MacBook Pro um, the new update just dropped the new update is called Big Sur if you haven't updated it you should because it's pretty cool it's basically like iOS 14 but for the Mac so I'm gonna show you guys how I did the widgets and the backdrop and icons and all that good stuff so if you like this video please Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also check out the description box below because I'm going to link some of the videos that I watched to learn how to customize it. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Wow, I sound like I'm on Zoom. I'm going to go ahead and record my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. So this is basically what my whole screen looks like um, with all the customizations and the widgets. So basically they don't have the old control center, I think that's what it's called, where basically all of your messages and stuff, um, but you just click up here and that's where the widgets are located. So it looks like this but in order to get these widgets you're going to want to go to the app store you're going to need to look up widget and i used dash dot dash so let's go ahead and open that up and basically it's just like widget smith except you can't do everything that widget smith does so you're going to want to go to add widgets and the photos that you're going to want to use are going to have to be in your photo album so for example if i want to go to like pinterest or something and you want to look up like brown aesthetic which is basically what i'm going for you're going to want to save one of these photos so let's just go with this one the little teddy bear and you want to drag it onto your home page and then control and right click and then hit share and then go to add to photos and it should add to your photo album which is down here on the dock so then what you're going to want to do is press set image and there's your photo right there and then hit save so now what you're going to go do is go back to the um, widget area and scroll all the way down to edit widget and then go to the dash dot dash down here and it should pop up and all you have to do is click add but they also have medium and large so if i wanted to do like a little medium one it would just pop up like that and then you press done so that's like basically the only type of widgets that i've been able to really find there's nothing there's not a lot of widget apps or widget customized apps but apple does have their own so for example they have like the calendar and the clock and i have the clock set right here so i have los angeles new york london and paris basic standard times and then i have this calendar app it's from fantastical which is another app on the mac but you have to pay for it so i'm not really sure how I was able to get the widget for it, but it's there. But they have a whole bunch of apps um, or widgets for Fantastical. So as you can see, they have the calendar and the date and the event list and date and calendar, event list, event list and calendar and so on. So I just have the date and the calendar and it also has the temperature down there too. And like I said, I just got these from Pinterest, but this one is one that I made. So I'll show you guys how I made it. So I'm gonna go to Google Chrome and I can use Canva for basically everything. And I normally like to use like a logo size for the widget or whatever. So I'm just gonna do create a blank logo and you can do whatever color you want i just kind of typed up like brown and then you know you want to do like that or whatever and then you want to go to your text and add your text so we're in november and you want to change your font color to white move it over or you can you know change your font the one that i used was brusher yes brusher so i used brusher to get the font um for this november over here and that's basically how i did it and then i did the same process for 
using dash dot dash for that November up there. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is how I made my little sticky over here. Stickies are something that I have been using for a while now. Ever since I got my first MacBook, I've been using stickies because they help me out so much with school. Um, so this one is just my little to-do list and I update it every day. Like I have another to-do list on my wall, on my calendar, but I also have one here so I know what I need to do. So as you can see here, I need to start my policy memo for school and then film a YouTube video, which is what I'm doing right now. But if you want to get like the fonts, you want to go over here and look up stickies and then file and then you're going to do new note. Obviously, I already have one up there, so it wouldn't just automatically pop up. But I changed my color to gray, which is like the closest thing to white. Do they only have one, two, three, four, five? They only have six colors. I was hoping maybe they would have more colors, but that's cool. They don't. And you're going to go back to Google Chrome or Safari or whatever you use and look up the font. And I normally use the font for like everything. Like I use it for my thumbnails um, when I'm not using like Fonto just so I can get like different fonts that nobody else really uses. So they have just a bunch of different fonts. I really like to use the script handwritten ones just because I think they're so cute. And you can even preview what your text is going to look like. So if I want mine to say to do, I'm just going to do that and it pops up with a couple of samples of what the to-do is going to look like. So let's just do a little sunshine. So you're gonna download it to your computer and then go to Finder and then go to Downloads and open it up, open up the zip file. And then when you open it up, you're gonna wanna open up the one that says TTF as the file and then install the font. And you need to remember what the font is. So it's called a little sunshine. So when you go here, you wanna go up to font, show fonts, and then you're gonna just look for the name of the font that you saved. And these fonts are also gonna be on um, whatever like downloaded softwares that you have to Apple. So I'm pretty sure it's on like Apple, Pages, Apple presentations, Keynote, I think is what it's called. So any of those, like you can use the fonts, which is really cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. That is super duper small, so I'm gonna make it bigger for you guys to see. I'm gonna press Control Plus to make it bigger. Oh no, I deleted it. Love that for me. Okay, so there we have it to-do list with your own customizable font. You can also make your own font. I created my own font. It's not the greatest, but I will show you guys what it looks like. Um, I use like this software on my iPad. It's called Caligra E something. I'm not actually sure what the name is, but I will link it down below if you're interested in making your own personal font. But this is what mine looks like. It is not the greatest at all. Um, like, look at how horrible that is. <laughs> it looks really bad because I honestly didn't know what I was doing and I didn't write on the line, so it's not even, but it's okay. So that's how you make the sticky notes and then you can resize them to fit however you want. So I'm gonna go right there. So now I'm going to show you guys how I got my little folder icons over here in this corner. Like I said, I really wanted to go for like the brown theme. This theme is exactly how my iPhone is set up, um, except for the background. I got my iPhone background off of Pinterest, but I actually made this one using Procreate. So I'll put it up on my website if you guys want to use the same one too that will be in the link in the description box below as well so what you want to do is go to um google chrome or whatever you want to use and again you're going to go back to canva 
and do create a blank logo. So all I did really was look up an element and I looked up a circle and that's just like a preset color that I have, but I'm not gonna use that one. And I'm just gonna look up like brown hex code. And this is basically what I did to match or kind of create colors that go with each other, that coordinate with each other. So I'm gonna go over here and let's just do cinnamon. So six through two AOD. And you're gonna type that over here. And there we have it. So then you're only gonna download it and then make sure you download it with the transparent background. Um, I know you have to have premium for that, but there are ways in which you can download it with a transparent background or cut it out so that it is transparent. So you're just gonna download that. And so then what you're gonna do is open it up, do Control A, Control C, and then you're gonna make your folder. And then you're gonna go to get info. And then you're gonna do control V. And there you have it. And then you can name it whatever you want to name it. So the next couple things I'm gonna show you guys are kind of more for Apple Apple. So these are just things that you can do in the settings that I think are pretty cool. So in general, you can change your accent color, which is something that I've already had and it was in my previous video. So you can do blue and as you can see that it changed it to blue, but I always have mine on pink because I'm a pink girl. And then you can also do the highlight color. And basically what the highlight color is, is basically when you go to highlight something, it's gonna be that color. Um, so you just click on other for that and I have mine on like a brown shade to match the theme but you can do really whatever color that you want so this is what it looks like let's just go here we go we can go here and then brown and as you can see there's a little highlight where it says hex code it's really cute it just matches the theme and then in settings you can go to the dock and menu bar and the dock and menu bar is basically what's down here and then what's up top and sometimes there's just things up there that you don't really need so you can get rid of it if you don't need it but i like to have all these so if you didn't want to have the wi-fi showing you can take it off and there you go it's not there anymore but I like to have that there. And then there's Bluetooth, which is really helpful for if you have AirPods or anything that uses Bluetooth, then you wanna connect it to your laptop. So that's really important to have. And yeah, so they have basically all these things that you can use in your dock and menu bar. And then there's also something new and it's sound. And basically, whenever you like do something, it makes a sound. I don't know, that's a really weird way of putting it, but like they have different sounds. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, let me turn it up. So whenever you like, I've noticed like whenever I add a file to one of my little file folders up there, it makes that little doop sound, which is kind of cute, but you can also um, turn it off if you don't want it so you can just need it you can change the size of the dog so you can make it really tiny I don't know who could have theirs that small but personally I couldn't and I also can't see that great so I have to have it a little bit bigger and yeah that's basically all I did to customize my MacBook this is really it i really love the way that it looks i love the added widget feature because i love the widgets on my iphone so them adding it to the mac is so cool and it's so cute because i just love how you can just customize it to yourself and not just have that plain old one that they used to have all right you guys so that is it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Mm.